Yeah, it feels like it's a long time coming and obviously there's been a, a few issues with, with players and being able to get everyone here and, and everyone's in the midst of a busy summer but I think now that we've had a chance to actually get together it's starting to feel real and, and the, the build up will be exciting and leading into that first game against Trent. Yeah, lots of players are dipping in and out of this schedule. That's going to be tough, but you have got a lot of experienced guys. They're used to that, aren't they, with their international expertise? I, th I think so, and I think that's the, the nature of every team these days, that you have to have the ability to adapt to whatever situation. And we, we felt it last year when the likes of Mo got called up for a test match when we weren't expecting that. Lots of injuries. So I think teams just deal with these things really well these days. What, what do you make of your group? It's a really strong team. Um, we, our batting last year was exceptional and we've been able to bring back um, everyone from that group. So we're pretty excited about that and we have the likes of Matthew Wade coming in to complement that. Um, so that, that, I think that'll be our strength and the ability to try and score big at Edge Baston in particular. Don't to put you under too much pressure because I imagine you've had hours of meetings about it, but what will you learn from last year and that we will try and change for this year? Um, it's not, not, not too much trying to change. I think it's just the understanding of how you can utilise your bowlers throughout that 100 balls. Um, I think we saw last year that the, the 10 ball over didn't really work, but, but the, the couple of times when you got it right, when you got the matchup right or the bowler was in the right mood, then it could be really effective. So I think it's understanding when to utilise the bowlers more and more will, have a, will give you the ability to, I think, to be more dominant with the ball. I know you can't control it, but one thing you found was home advantage was a a key important to the competition. Edgebaston was rocking big crowds. There were some sensational performances in front of them as well. How important were they be? Well, it was fun, I think, first and foremost. And I think it gave the guys a real appreciation for what it was like playing at Edgebaston. Not only the ground and the crowd, but the facilities. And I think a lot of the players who hadn't experienced that before really enjoyed it. And I think they, they thrived in those circumstances. So we're, we're hoping to see something obviously very similar and hoping that the, the players can actually perform like they did last year. And I think that the surface was, was unbelievable and I think the crowd played a big part as well. Yeah, and it was, it was fascinating to see so many different age ranges as well and different cultures all kind of coming to Edge Bass and that's great for the game as well. Absolutely, and I think, you know, the, the, the women's game had a huge part to play in that and the fact that the double headers and they were able, crowds were able to see um, quality cricket for an extended period of time. So we haven't quite got that this year, but hopefully last year was enough of a catalyst to bring in that, that same sort of crowd that enjoyed the game so much.